Hi there, this is Tom Morgan and uh, this is a quick uh, demonstration of the Unify Video motion detection system and how you set it up. And I wanted to show you this because I was really impressed by how it works and uh, some of the tools you get with it. So uh, to access it from your dashboard, if you pick one of the cameras and you'll notice here under configuration, there's the option to record only motion as well as on schedule always record and don't record. And so if you do choose um, to record on motion, then you need to set up the motion detection. And that's done down here. Now, before you even actually configure it, there are some uh, some values here for how long before and after to record um, and the event trigger. So like how long the motion needs to be happening before it will trigger the recording. But the really cool stuff I thought happens in here in the configuration. now. Here you can draw in the the motion zone, so only motion inside this zone will be triggered. So here you can see that I'm covering the back door, the gate, um, but I'm avoiding the road out the back um, that's at the top of the picture where my mouse cursor is now. The thing that really impressed me though was this test zone button. Uh, when you press that, what it's going to do is go to a live feed of the camera, but then overlay on top of that live feed um, any actions which uh, it detects as motion and it will highlight those in an overlay on top of the screen. So you'll see uh, as cars drive past, um, as, as anything happens, you can just see the red overlay that highlights that there's motion happening. The other thing to notice is down here in the bottom right hand corner of the image um, this is kind of like your indication of uh, motion that would trigger the motion sensor. And this is based on the sensitivity. So you can see I've got mine that, um, to be quite sensitive. And what I'm going to do in a minute is just um, I'm going to go outside into that picture and you'll be able to see um, how the, how the trigger is happening. Now one thing that's really interesting is how very sensitive this is. So I'm actually on the other side of that door right now as I'm talking to you, and I'm just moving the handle. Yep, yeah. it's barely moving at all, but that's enough to trigger the motion. And if I now unlock the door and open the door, you can see a big red area. And now if you look at the histogram down at the bottom, you can see that's enough to trigger. It goes over that blue line, and that means it's enough to trigger an action. And then even more so, as if I were to step outside, then you can see that large motion and that would be used to trigger. If I stop moving, you'll see that die down again. And dissipate, I'm trying to stay as still as I can. And you can see there's a very small amount of motion here and because of my sensitivity settings, it won't trigger it until it's big enough of an action. And that's useful because you don't want false positives, right? Otherwise you'd just end up ignoring them. And there are some things that are causing um, the motion to trigger. So uh, every now and again, you can see the raindrops because it's raining ever so slightly here. And you can see the raindrops showing up on the screen. You can see there was a bug that was flying around that was triggering it. But none of those things were enough to trigger the motion sensitivity. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and I thought it was worthy of a quick show and tell video. Um, so that's just focusing on the um, on the configuration of the motion detection in the the Unify video dashboard.